What a match. Daniel and Schled. Thank you so much for everybody tuning in. Appreciate you guys. I hear you, but the company, at the end of the day, the company's supposed to be giving you the money for your work. That's exactly how it should go. And if they're not doing that, it's not a company, dude. It's a scheme. Sled and Daniel, you guys are good to go. Daniel versus Sled. Ooh, no town ace there. Man, 26 frame command throw. Okay. Yo, these staggers are super scary, but that reflect into the stand medium is even scarier. They're scheming you for your graphic design shit, not your gameplay. You're cutting yourself way short, my guy. Yo, nobody with the real talk. Damn, nobody came with the real talk, dude. Yeah, yeah. They don't care about your gameplay. Nah, he's speaking truth to you. I hope you take that into account, Slime. He's talking the truth. They don't care about you playing, dude. It's your design, man. That shit looks good for the company more than it looks good for you. You always come first. Remember that, man. Oh, little dog, you said that earlier? My bad, I didn't even get to see that. Yeah, just be careful, man. Look at that contract. If, if you sign the contract. Man, don't touch me. Look at that Dragon Ball. Sheesh. That shit got so much range. Knockdown, beautiful. Oof. Michael J. White. Thanks so much for follow. Yo, as long as you're getting paid and you're getting paid for the amount of work. Just remember that, dude. Oof. Yo, Daniel is out here. Daniel is looking to make top four. Yeah, no problem, Slime. Just be good out there, man. I appreciate you being here, by the way. At the end of the day, if that company's legit, if you're trying to help them grow, keep that Twitch Prime on them, dude. Just please make sure they're fucking legit. There's a lot of companies out here that they be saying, yo, we're family and we're looking out for you and all this other shit, and they're not, man. There's literally, Brutal Democracy is a company um, that, that existed earlier this year, right? And they were fucking over so many people. So it just goes to show you that this... Wow, that combo was OD. But it goes to show you that there's a lot of companies out here that they will fuck you over, dude. Yo, Slat is kind of out here. Okay. Oh, that's a punish. Nice. Uh, 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 uh. Shit. Ooh. Yeah, that was a brutal timeline, huh? It was. It definitely was. Any boss who says that they are your family is literally not your family. It's a lying piece of shit who's going to fuck you over at every turn. Then he drops indeed. They legit will fuck you over. They say that they're their family, right? They say that they they your family to make you feel at ease. 
to make you feel comfortable. Why? Because they're ready to pray. They're ready to pray on you and take legit whatever they can from you. And my goodness, that medium starter. Yo, that medium is so OD, man. One of the best medium normals in the game. One of the best normals in the game, very. Yes, I want to see the types and your birthday bash. Um, I haven't invited him to be honest with you. So, Brutal Democracy was a company that was fucking over their players. OD, like really, really bad. And it's sad because Shorty was trying to act like they wasn't, you know, they wasn't really like trying to fuck people over. I don't know her name, so um, pretty much the woman that they had legit was just fucking people over, man. Just straight up like that. It was pretty bad. Yeah, you had to pay to get in. Um, it was it was a multitude of things that they were doing. That's impossible. They'll say they are your family as long as they can get free work out of the play and fuck you over, yeah. There's just a lot of people in general that, unfortunately, they're not really for you. They act like they're down to work with you and stuff like that, but they really out to use you at, at, at the best that they can while you make little to nothing, which sucks, man. You know they came back and they changed their name, but they got discovered. Oh no, I know. That's how you know that they're shitty ass people. That's how you know that they're shitty ass people. Because they legit, after they were done, the same guy that tried to act like, oh no, nah, we're gonna make some changes and all this other shit. Yo, this scumbag motherfucker legit made the company like, like two days later. Fucking scumbags, dude. It's crazy how they legit try to make a whole new company after fucking over people. I would take I'll take this with a grain of salt because this is from last year. The thing is though, Slime apparently joined last year, so his company is mad sus of me. This is from CEO creator of the company. We know that if we're not making money from us, that there's no need for them to give us any money. We have started since day one of our goal. Of this organization at the end of the day is to ensure that you look good. We offer a secondary platform for exposure and advertisement to ensure. <laughs> if I hear another ramble about company, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, I mean that's just what it is though. Just like and you winning this is this is legit an upset. Wow, Daniel. Daniel, you you're fulfilling your, your prophecy, dude. Remember I told you? Keep Get at up. it. Do you think you can keep up with me now? Remember? Remember, Daniel, I told you this a year and a half ago. My goodness. You definitely stepped it up so much, dude. And I knew you had it in you. You just beat Sled, which is crazy. 2-0 at that. Brett said, who's Sled? You know the... You know who Sled is. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying, stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. All right, so we're about to have um, Chris Zero and Lucar. Yeah, what the fuck you mean? You don't know who Sled is? Yo, they already played. <laughs> Slap, they already played. Shocks and 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 um Coach Steve already played. Have Daniel and Shocks play now. Now it's all good. Yo, you forgot who Sled is? That's crazy. They already played though. So Daniel and and Shocks, you guys are gonna play now. Sled is, is, is the Jiren player. Damn. You really don't know who that is?
laughs at once we got into this. I respect the honesty. My man said, listen, I was just getting games in. No, Daniel, you're going to play off stream. You're going to play this one off stream. Because we did, we did too much of the top eight, to be honest with you. Yo, Neil Danger, get it in, man. Hope everything works out for you. You've seen him play before. He just he played Master Roshi with, with Jiren and one other character. Wait, you wanted to do what for the chat? Okay, how about this, Daniel? If we get if we get ten subs, I'll have you on stream. I ain't gonna tell us appreciate you. <laughs> Good shit. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> that was not I mentioned that because I see Smash okay. Wi-Fi tournaments at as weeklies at least, but I see VODs on YouTube every day. How often we do Wednesdays? We do Wednesdays for PC and Saturdays for PS4. Yeah, Anthony, the main, we are at... That was not okay, though, right? I got hit. 126. Good shit. Good shit. So we was I'm almost there. there. I don't think we're going to reach the 200 tonight, but shit. Yeah, that was not okay, though, right? I got hit. Shit. Slime, indeed. Yo, Good Slime, shit. also, I don't think you know this, but I am a, I'm still to this day, I haven't played Melee in like 15 years. They still have me as top 100 player. I'm literally 91. Good shit. Good shit. I'm uh, I, I beat a lot of people with Donkey Kong, but this was in melee. Good shit. Good shit. I'm embarrassed. Here's the winners' finals. The sound is gonna cut off for like seven seconds. That seven seconds, yo, BC. Thank you so much. <laughs> what days do you play Street Fighter Five? Uh, I'm gonna play it Friday. I'll be playing Street Fighter Five Friday, guys. That was not okay, but right? Melee DK. I, I beat a whole bunch of poor players, man. Good shit. Yo, Lee. Good shit. Take it easy, man. Have a good night, dude. Yo, Lucar and um. That was not okay, but right? And Chris Zero, you guys are good to get started. Shit. And we, I'm not gonna lie, we're 28 subs away. Is there anybody that wants to help out to reach 3,300? We're actually kind of close. 28 subs away? I mean, I think we can make that happen, right? If not, regardless, I appreciate y'all, but my goodness, we're almost at that goal. Holy shit. Yo, have a good night, man. Take it easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, you guys want to know something? I, I just found out. Um, so, I spoke to Ultimizer the other day. He told me even more in regards to Justin Wong. So, apparently, Justin Wong wanted, you know when Justin Wong was, um, he was helping players to fly out and stuff like that? So, legit, uh, once again, he wanted he wanted me to be a part of his team that he was doing. Um, when he was flying out everybody, I didn't even notice. I think this was, I don't know how recent it was. I will have to ask him. But pretty much, Justin wanted me to be on board with his team. But I guess it never, it never came into fruition. So maybe in the future, we'll see what happens with me and Justin. Let's we'll see what's up. He told me that Justin Wong actually likes me a lot as a, you know, just a, not only like a player, but just how I operate and do things. Guys, do not copy and paste. And you're doing me that solid. I see a couple of you guys here. I just looked at the chat right now. Do me the solid. Please don't do that here. 
That's all I ask of you guys. Just out of, out of respect, man. Please don't copy and paste. I know you guys are rooting for for uh, Lucar, and I appreciate that. But don't don't copy and paste, please. So yeah, let me get back to the story real quick. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm not trying to shoot people out here. I know people want to have fun. Just please don't don't copy and paste, guys. I'm I'm not a fan of it at all. I like to actually talk with you guys, you know. So so Ultimizer, you know, he told me that Justin really wanted to pick me up. So not only did he wanted to pick me up back in the days, he wanted to pick me up um maybe maybe like a year two years ago when he was you know when he was sending out all those players. I, I guess I was one of them that he wanted like to send me out and shit. I could be off. It could be it could have been years ago when I was when I was entering tournaments or it could have been you know recent. But I don't know. I have no clue. I just know that he said Justin Wong actually likes me a lot. So you know, it's a great thing, man. Yeah, 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 that's Jake. Him and him and Ultimizer had a long talk pretty much about me. So no, I think that's actually really cool. In the future, we'll see what's up, man. No? Sheesh. Oh, that was a beat. The game sound might be a little loud. I'm not too sure. Can you guys hear me, though? Okay. Okay. I'm going to need Justin to work that out. To see Bump bringing HLC 5 global made shit. We'll see what's up, man. We'll see what's up. I think that would be great. Like, to have a Justin Bump collaboration. That would be OD. The game is a little bit loud. Uh, yeah, I'll probably have to lower it after this one. I wish you guys would have told me earlier. Speaking of sound, not even the classic MK games might not even have sound anymore because they are getting DMCA. MK cannot just win. My goodness. That's actually crazy. That's so bad. Man. Wow. So FK is getting DMCA for sound bites? For the music? The music that barely play well, you know what? Back in the days the music was actually a lot louder than than the PlayStation counterparts, you know? Hit him with the beam there, holy shit. I think Warner Brothers is claiming all the old music. That sucks, man. First of all, it's already tough enough that you can't do fatalities, right? And now the music, jeez. Nobody's going to want to fucking do anything content-wise for them. Can't do shit. Hey, blue car. Get in that first game there. Very nice. Nah, so the, the problem with fatalities, um, it usually has a lot of blood. So when you do it on YouTube, pretty much, you um, you get not demonetized, but it makes it a lot harder for you to make money. Shit sucks, man. Not even, not even only fatality, guys. If there's a lot of blood, in one area, it legit, legit will demonetize you pretty much. Why do you think whenever people do a fatality, like look at YouTube videos, right? They either cut out the fatalities or whenever there's like a fatal blow, I mean uh, a crushing blow or anything that just has mad blood coming out. What ends up happening is um, they'll, they'll gray it out or they'll edit it out, period. Yes, crushing blows and fatals have to be sent to frame one. 
Yes, X-ray, all of that shit. Alien non-blood doesn't, which is why they changed the hue to make the colors change. Yep. Shit is dumb as fuck, man. Or is it banned in different countries on YouTube? It's just in, in general, dude. In general. What I've seen is they put a blue filter over it so the fatal crushing gets censored because blood isn't blue, so the YouTube robot, whatever, can't tell what it is exactly. MK11 is also banned in Japan as a whole, yep. In Japan, um, like, shit, Mortal Kombat does not exist. At all. That game is too, it's too violent. You gotta remember, any, any, like, dismemberment, they don't, they don't fuck with. So, I'll give you the greatest example. I watch speed runs, right, for Resident Evil 7. So there's a part with Ethan that he's fighting his wife, Mia, right? She's under she's under possession from from um, Eve or whatever her name is, the little girl that's actually an old woman. So she grabs the chainsaw, right? In the American version, she cuts off your hand, right? She completely cuts off your hand. In the Japan version, she uses the chainsaw and what ends up happening is you're still holding on to your hand. Your hand does not get cut off. So there's no, you cannot have any dismemberment. Any dismemberment legit will not exist in Japan. Done. I watch it every every day, dude. I, I am legit like like super in love with speedruns now. So that's all I ever watch. I watch Resident Evil speedruns all day, dude. And so when, whenever I watch them play like the Japanese version, um, you don't see you don't see no dismemberment. Period. For EX and Tekken, the Japan version gave Alisa swords instead of chainsaws because it's too graphic in Japan standards. Yep. Oh, I'm in there for Resident Evil 8 for Raid. I can't wait. Do you watch box, box back soup? Absolutely. One of the people I watch. You know, you know who he sounds like? <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly who soup sounds like. Dude. Whenever I hear him, he sounds like Tree Folio. I swear they're fucking brothers. If you guys ever heard Tree Folio's voice, and then if you go to watch Bok Back Soup, dude, they sound the fucking same. It's crazy. Incredible mate. It is actually really crazy how similar they sound. Has Lucar beat Kazuro recently? I know Kazuro is putting hands on Lucar. Uh, I don't know about recent, but shit, he's looking good here, though. I can say that much. Lucar stepped it up a lot, man. Fred. Just like that. It's about to be 2 0. Oh, he didn't even have to do that. Anime definitely gets violent, even in Naruto, the arms get blown up. Yeah, it's, it's weird, though. It's weird that that happens, but... Yeah, like in, 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 in like Resident Evil shit like that? Nah. Ooh, yo, the wall of Lucar. The wall of Lucar. My man really blocked all that. It's crazy. That, wall, that level three was ri like ridiculous. Relax. It was ridiculous. My man blocked the overhead, the overhead in that scenario. That's crazy. Nah, I don't, I don't, I, I haven't watched anime in quite some time. I need to catch up though. I need to catch up on One Piece. I am severely behind. Man. One piece is OD. Good block. Eh. What arc I'm on? Um, 
So Sanji just fought, he just fought um, Pink Flamingo, right? That's his name. And he lost that fight. So literally right after that fight. Not Flamingo, I said Pink Flamingo. Yeah, I said Pink Flamingo, right? So I, I think it's called Death Dress Rosa. They are some fucking island. Yeah, 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 87. Dress Rosa, right? They just dubbed that not too long ago. Five, seven deadly sins. That show is OD until season three. Because season three looks looks garbage, dude. Really. Looks really bad, unfortunately. I am reading the Dragon Ball Super manga, though. And that shit is OD. And I know what happens in the Baruto where somebody actually fucking dies. That shit is sad, dude. That shit actually made me sad. Oh, that was ridiculous. Too far. Holy fuck. I can't believe that that character died. Yes, somebody actually very important died in Baruto. Yes. Somebody very important. No bullshit. I mean, Baruto could be Loki ass, but I was still very sad on the, the person dying. Now, I'm not saying anything. That's what I said. You guys just gotta watch it. Fidel. Is Baruto ass? Really? To be honest, you felt nothing when it happened? Really? How? You know why? Probably because it happened on Baruto. Let me ask you something. Boy, had it happened on Naruto, would you been sad then? Probably, right? Be honest with me. But if because it happened on Baruto, you felt like they kind of felt like they had to do something, right? For 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 it to be sad, Neji was fucked up. Naruto was asking me before Baruto. No, Naruto's OD, dude. Uh, Tiger Star, I never got to play Killer OR. That was OD. A lot of people saying that Baruto's OD now. I don't know. Jiraiya? Jiraiya dying was crazy. That was actually crazy. Jiraiya dying is one of the saddest of the saddest characters dying, period. Neji dying too was sad. Neji dying, definitely sad. But but Jiraiya? My man, he knew he was gonna lose the fight. And he legit was like, yo, we need to take this back. Wow. That shit was sad, man. Yeah, and the fight was OD. The anime felt like fell until recently. It's anime basically on chapter 10 of the manga. Got you. The Raya's death is one of the saddest deaths I experienced in a in a show. Period. That shit was fucking sad, man. And this is about to be three old. Oh, wow. My man, Lucar, you're OD. I'm talking about in Baruto, boy. Destroy Goku. Relax. I do not take life for granted. Madara should have been the final villain. I didn't. I didn't get to that point either. I I, I saw when Madara was fucking everybody up <laughs> on the sand. That shit was mad OD. And then I don't know what happens after. I'm 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 still like a little behind when it comes to Naruto as well. 
Tata Sale. Damn. I don't. You really want to know? Tata Sale? I'll, I'll, I'll text you it. Give me one second. I'm telling you right now. Neil Danger, I got you. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, Tata Sale. Yup. That's what I said. It's OD that that happens. That's sad. I don't care what anybody says. That character was fucking OD. I love that character in the show. So. You know, you know, you know what was also sad? In all honesty. Um. Damn, what is, what is the character's name in Walking Dead that he got his head bashed in? That shit. That shit, that, that shit was so impactful that the show literally... Glenn. I did not want Glenn to die, to be honest with you. He was just way too... Like, he was way too cool. First of all, we had an, an Asian and American show standing out, which was a beautiful thing to watch, Right? Like, it's rare to see, like, a black man in an American show stand out. It's rare to see an Asian stand out, right? So we see Glenn standing out, and we're like, yes, let's go. Like, the show was OD. When Glenn died, they lost so many viewers, and then they did a survey. They actually did a survey, and they said, when did you stop watching the show? When did the show become uh, less appealing, less interesting to you? And they said, when Glenn died. They said, when Glenn died... That killed it. So, that was it. You stopped watching him when he died? A lot of people did. It's like power when Ghost died. Yo, mind you though, there's a there's they, they're hinting at he didn't die. I don't know if anybody watches it. Give me one second. Um, let me look for it real quick in my history. I got you right now. Somebody broke it down so good that they 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 feel like he is not um he's not dead at all. And they broke the they they broke it down why. Do I have it here? I should. Okay. It's called evidence that ghosts survive. So, Elgoons, if you want, take a look at this. Anybody that watches Power, if you watch Power, this is actually really fucking good. It shows why Ghost is not dead. And I, I kind of figured he's not dead, but... Yes, Glenn did die to Negan in the comics, indeed. Let me fix up your names. I think Ghost survived, too. I think he definitely survived. And it didn't show his body. Whenever a show doesn't show somebody's body, probably because they're not dead. But I, I miss I miss Tommy. I miss Ghost. Nah, I never saw Cold Gears, but I heard it's a really good show. Daniel and Shox, you guys are good to go. Once again, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Everybody saying Snyder's Cut is OD. Everybody saying that shit is actually really good. You should watch it. I'm going to watch it. Four hours long, but fuck it. It is four hours. Y'all do know that Kill Bill, Kill Bill was supposed to be just Kill Bill. It was supposed to be four hours long. But the company felt, wow! Oh, he should have down aged. The company felt that, um, that that was way too long for viewers to watch. So they cut it in two, which is why they did Kill Bill, Kill Bill uh, 1 and Kill Bill 2. But Kill Bill was supposed to be a four-hour movie. 
Why you why you think that it, it seems like unbalanced, right? You ever watch Kill Bill 1 and, and Kill Bill 2 and you wonder why? Kill Bill 1 is so good. The the pacing of it makes so much sense. And then when you watch Kill Bill 2, you're like, ew. Like, it's not bad. It's still a great movie, but it just seems crazy, right? Like, it doesn't seem like it, it, it's meshing together. And that's because Kill Bill 1 and Kill Bill 2 are supposed to just be Kill Bill. You know, you know, at a they do do intermissions, though. They did an intermission when, um, they did a 24 hours, right, or something like that, where you watch every single Avenger movie, right? You watch Iron Man 1, 2, 3, Captain America 1, 2, 3, uh, Avengers 1, 2. They did this before they did the Avengers uh, Infinity War and Endgame. So what ends up happening is every, every after every, I think, movie or two, they, you take a five-minute break. And then they'll run the next movie. The fucked up part, the fucked up part about um, the Spider Cut is that DC openly said they, they're not, right now they're not trying to do anything with the Snyderverse. So, as good as it is, it seems like they're not, you know what I'm saying, they might not do anything, we'll see. How do I feel about titty anime? I mean, I don't really watch anime like that. <laughs> so I can't tell you, dude. I'm, 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 I'm literally lost. Like, the last anime, to be honest with you, I watched was the shit that they fight in the Coliseum on Netflix. That was the last anime. I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's actually really good. Kenshin, yeah, Ken, Ken and Asura. Yeah, that's what I was watching. That shit is OD. That shit is OD. I suggest you guys go watch that. Man. I am I have not watched um Attack on Titan in quite some time. I'm on season two. When the armor titan and the other guy, they, they reveal themselves. I'm, I'm, I'm there. And then I have not watched the show since. But I know Attack on Titan is ridiculous. Dude, you can, you can tell Attack, Attack on Titan is ridiculous from episode one. Like anybody that watched Attack on Titan, you can tell from episode one, you think the quality is OD. Now? You can tell. Attack on Titan Season 2 is low-key trash. Not from where I was at. Have I seen back? No. I don't, I don't agree. From me watching Attack on Titan Season 2 was OD. Season 2 was not even close to trash. Season 3 is hype? Yeah, I got to I got to get into it. I can't wait. I'm I'm going to start watching it. You guys are getting me hyped for it. Is there a link for me to start watching it? Hey, this is the old D. Season four is OD. There's a season four. Holy fuck! I'm I'm far behind, huh? Season one and two become incredible once you reach the end of season three. The truth comes out. Season four is, is absolute madness in the best possible way. Oh my! Can ya? Can ya? Can ya? Can ya give me something so I can watch it? When is it? When is it? When does it finish? The manga is almost done.
Yo, 87, that'd be great, man. I want to watch it. The manga got one more chapter, and then it's officially done. And season four is the final season, so when the manga finishes, the anime was gonna follow suit. Got you. Watch Juju Sue, Katsu. Okay, Gallup J, got you. Kefla! Tyson about though. I don't even know what that about. Nice. Just watch the power video. Giving me a lot to think about. No cat. Yo, this shit is OD, right? That dude literally broke it down so good. The only thing that was that. Wow. <laughs> Thought that that shit was going to work, right? Hold this shit! So, pretty much the only thing that I thought was a little far fetched was him showing the pixelated ghosts in the in the fucking ambulance. Oh, he kills. On the bracket it says crispy blue car. You savages are strong when you combine fire. But you're still no match for it. Oh lap, you got it all wrong, brother. It is definitely blue car. I got it. I got it. And right now the score is 1-1 one, one between these two. Let's get it. Yo, thank you, Anthony. Appreciate that. Now it's all good, lap. Let's sweat it. You out here, you out here training, my man. There was a lot. Yeah, the ambulance shit was bullshit, but everything else is OD. Everything else is OD, and Ghost is actually really smart. So I believe everything else. Oh, nice block, man. Okay. Oh, what? And the gun is very accurate. Yep. Oh, you watched the Elgoons? <laughs> I'm glad you did. My man punched the wrong way. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know they're working on season two, right? For Power Book 2. So, let's we'll see what's up. Oh, these are hard hitting super. Good dead. That show is good. A lot of people are sleeping on Power Book 2. Power Book 2, at, especially at the end. I was feeling it, man. Screen trim, le? What is that, Neil? Yeah, nah, Power Book 2 was good. It's just that people, you know what it is, in all honesty, 
Ghost and Tommy were so ridiculous as characters that it's hard to compete with them, man. Nah, this is uh, semis. Who's the finals is after this? The turret joint? Got you. Tariq definitely stepped it up a lot, man. His acting, just the way he is. Yeah. Daniel is definitely top four. He could top, possibly make it a top five. I mean, top three. That is negative one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, this sucks. My goodness, synopsis of Juju Kassin is a boy with tremendous physical strength, though he lives a completely ordinary high school life one day to save a classmate who has been attacked by a curse. He sees the figure of taking the curse in his own soul. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yo, is Daniel about to make top three? Are y'all fucking kidding me? Daniel top three? Is it gonna happen? Is it going to happen? Daniel making top fucking three. And that's exactly why he said, put me on stream. And you're 10 gifted? Put me and Kale together and what do you get? My goodness. Yo, then you making so top three. Just gotta keep one up in everyone, huh? Well, don't get too comfy at the top. I'm coming for ya. When I say put me on stream, put me on. Holy shit. Oh shit. My man Daniel really just made top three stream. Tell me that's not OD. That is crazy. And although I'm tired, Daniel, you definitely earned it, for sure. One second, guys. All right, give me one second. Let me trace up their names. The last two matches of the night. Daniel versus Chris Zero. If Daniel beats Chris Zero, that's going to be crazy. We're about to find out if that's going to happen or not. Once again, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. I know it is late. You know what I'm saying? But we extended this a little bit further, which Daniel proved that it was worth the wait. All right, Daniel and Chris Zero, you guys are good to go. I won't regret it catching up in one piece. No, I know. That show is amazing. I know. Oh, shit. This is the loser's finals, guys. Okay. All right, he didn't have no meter, so he could not vanish. What's my favorite? To be honest with you, it was it was Naruto. Um, Naruto, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and uh, Attack on Titan. Those were like legit my three favorite. How many more matches we got tonight? These are two more. This one and then the next one. That's it. Anyone can post links. As long as it's not no crazy shit, no violent shit, no nudity shit. Nice. Oof. Brotherhood is ridiculous. Indeed. Ah, 
Yeah, this is the thing. Howard does. This shit done. Yeah, nah, Full Metal Alchemist is ridiculous. And I can I can do one piece probably like in a month if I actually dedicate myself to it. Top three candy? Nah, I, I ain't got no top three candy. Oh no top eight? Oh, and that does home in, yep. Cause they're looking really good here. Dang, what are you dodging to? Wait, this is a dead character? Oh, not yet. Promise Neverland? What is that about? Promise Neverland is OG? What is it about? You guys are not telling me anything though. Y'all keep saying this old D. You said kids escape the demon bump, but the plot is wild deeper than that. Promise Neverland is ass. From what I heard, watch Promise Lemon Land Season 1 and then the manga to finish it because Season 2 skipped on it. I ain't watched it, but the premise is that the kids are being cattle and have to escape. Season 2 is kind of whack. And then if, nah, I don't want to watch it then. If it fall, I don't like when a show falls off like really, really hard. Because then there's like no point. <laughs> It fell off super hard. Nah, I'm good then. The next target. The manga's better. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Are you saying season two fell off super hard? I can't do it. Season two is as finished it yesterday. Jeez. Promise Neverland is a show that shows itself as a wholesome show, but the plot is over the place and it's dark. So people try not to talk about it much because it's a spoiler. Damn, you guys are getting me fucking mad hype for shit, man. Uh, season 2 skips an entire arc, sadly. Is it that bad, though? Bump, did you have a favorite character to watch in DBFZ? Topo. But we're never gonna see him again probably. You can watch season one and be fine though. Does it kinda like end with the season one? The arc was OD too, so they fucked up. Okay. Oh, you are dead. Because they're always looking for that air to air from Super Dash, yes. Jeez, it's a medium starter. I'll do the final. You can stop after season one. It's a good stopping point. That's what me and my girlfriend did. Got you. Mob Psycho is the is the anime. No, 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 that's not it. What is Mob Psycho about? I know one of the animes they have like. Oh, I think it's Fire Force, right? Fire Force has like um. Like, they actually portray, like, black characters, right? Something like that. I think that's Fire Force. I could be wrong. Fidel. 
Am I bugging? I think it's Fire Force, right? I remember they, they got huge praise because they portrayed black characters like differently and really good. Yo, Clutch Factor, thank you so much, man. Uh, I watched the My Hero movie, but I never watched the show, funny enough. I never really watched it, to be honest with you. Fire Force has one of the most OD fights ever made at the last arc of Season 1. So you're saying on, on the level of, of Naruto and, and Sosuke when they were kids? You're talking about on the level of Goku and Vegeta? Freezing? I don't know what's freezing. Fire Force equal good animation and fan service. Oh yeah, 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 I'm bugging. Lee and Gara is, is OD. Top tier, top tier fight. That shit was fucking ridiculous. Nah, I never seen Helsing Ultimate. Oh, you guys are out here. But listen, while you guys are out here with those Twitch moms, how about y'all use it on this game if you haven't used it already? Where can I reach out to talk business? Biz business. Business. Legit, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, hold up, hold up. We're talking about all that shit, but real talk though, Castlevania season two in the castle when that music started playing. Hold up. Hold up. How can we how can we forget about that? How can we forget about season two Castlevania when they made it to the castle? Stop. That shit had me fucking bugging the fuck out. And that show's mad good too. When they started playing that music, and the animation, the, the, the shit that they were doing was just ridiculous. From a pure animation standpoint, good lord, obviously it doesn't have the emotion level like, but it was a crazy good fight, still emotional too. What are you talking about, uh, Kuwait? Yeah, Castlevania, it, it's just a, it's a really good show in general. Oh, Fire Force? God. Alright, that dude's kind of been in struggle. See if we can make anything happen there. This is rough. Is Fire Force like le le like just legit? Everybody has fire powers. I don't understand what it what it's about. I continue to improve. Firefighters with powers. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds pretty high. Recommend it's freezing. I love it, but it's a lot of fan service. I'm a degenerate, so okay. Fire, fire, firefighters with fire powers. Fire forces where the firefighters have powers. Not everyone else, but well, not naturally. He said, "Fuck all this bullshit. You gotta catch up on this titty anime." All right, good. That was a 3-0. Oh. Nonetheless, real talk. 
Right? Daniel did fucking amazing. My man made top three. My man Daniel made top three. Daniel, that is old fucking D. Good shit, man. Definitely proud of you, Daniel. That is crazy. My man really made that top three. Incredible. Incredible. Good shit, Daniel. I know you're going to go back to the lab, figure things out, and get better and better for sure. This is the last match of the night. All right, so listen, guys, real quick. Let me do the last of the advertisements. My man Trefolio is hosting the 100 Cloud Skates for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on the PlayStation 4 tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch it at twitch.tv slash Trefolio. And also follow him at Twitter um, at Trefolio underscore. Make sure to show that man some love. And then, of course, April 3rd, next Saturday, is going to be the Bums Who Birthday Bass Invitational with a $2,100 uh, pot bonus. Well, it's just going to be $2,100 in the pot. Uh, three out of five throughout the entire way of the tournament with free food. It's going to start around 3 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure to check that out. Super Noon, you know I'm going to hit you up tomorrow. I'll see you in the building. All right. And then last but not least, listen, make sure to add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube. When you subscribe to my YouTube, hit that bell icon so you guys can receive all of the notifications. I appreciate everybody being here. It means a hell of a lot. Also, follow the stream by clicking on the heart icon underneath the video player. All right. And if you guys can, please sub to the channel with a tier one, tier two, tier three, Twitch Prime, or gift your fellow viewers as well. Once again, thank you so much for everybody being here. Uh, it, it, it's, it's just been amazing, man. It's been amazing. I'm tired of shit. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I've been here pretty much 10 hours. But we are out here with the finals. All right, let me fix up the names real quick. Lucar won convincingly against Chris Zero. Let's see how that plays out here in the Grand Finals. We need Lucar. What the fuck? You actually don't watch anime for real? Surprise. I thought you would. Decoy, no problem, man. Appreciate you being here. Hybrid Eclipse, I'm good. I hope you're good as well. If you guys are new to this channel, please hit that follow button. Yo, Slime, take it easy, no problem. Oh, okay. You <laughs> It's I'm fucking with you. Stripe <laughs> will be my first GG thinking about picking up Milia in May. Should I try Rev2 Virus advice for beginners? Um, I don't think they're the same though, right? I think they, they, they function differently. Just wait till Strive come out. I think you should just wait. Alright, Lucar, we need you on that first player side. The only anime I watch is City of Mayhem. This might as well be a fucking anime, right? Jeez. Thank you for that donation, Tokyo. Appreciate you. All right. This is the last match of the night. And I ain't going to lie to you guys. I am signing off right after. So just make sure you guys stay so that way you can show the person, uh, whoever I pass this over to, love. All right. All right. So we got Luka versus Chris Zero. And yes, we're gonna actually have a grand final where there's actual commentary. Ah. 
All right, let's get to it. Lucar, gonna get this hard knockdown here with the command throw. Boom. Oh, we sparking it up early. Nice block, the wall of Lucar. Oh, as soon as I said, the wall of Lucar. My goodness, my man got opened up. Block. Man. Okay. Man. Level three, get this hard knockdown. Guilty King Strives, one of the West Coast competitors with the rollback. Yes. Wow, and he blocked that though? Okay. Nice, get the opening there. Damn. Okay, the block here. The war of Lucar. My man is blocking it all. My goodness. Nice, good break. From time to time, I feel like he should just do the EX command throw right there. Okay. You have to wait, no problem, man. There's zero. Looking like he's about to get his first kill here. 180 seconds. Yo, Lucar's block is OD. The break. You're not gonna spark yet? I wonder what you're waiting for. There we go. Okay. Man. Yo, that assist, so much mileage, so much mileage. Oh, that was bad. He's gonna be able to get a full punish. Oh no, he's not. He made that save. Wow. Okay. Nice. Try to this. Is he dead yet? No, no, no. Barely. Man, wake up, no cares. Okay, that is plus. What are you doing? I can take you on my own. That was risky. Okay. Wow, the teleport kick, my goodness. Your plans can Okay. Hey. Oh, he's dead. He's going to be able to extend this. Yep. Level three. My goodness, that count eight ended up working out. This is the first match indeed. Had he jumped a little bit higher, he could have super dash. Oh, right 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is this match? Oh, the down age. Yo, Sled, no problem. Thank you for being here. And Chris Zero will take that first game, by the way. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay. Nice. Man throw, that is 17 frames. And you're gonna be able to combo that. That first match was OD and D. Okay. Yes, that was the first game. About to lose the 16 in the next hit. He's gonna get him out. Okay. He did the dragon rush. He's gonna bring in 16. Wow. Okay, that was fucking smart as shit. Eh? Yo, they going at it. My goodness. <laughs> Nice, the dragon was sneak that in there. So here's the thing. Lucar is low on life with the Android 16, but he's using him as the assist, and that's perfectly fine. That assist is so OD. So he's making good use of it. Oh, that was nice to lock him down. Use that spark. Spark right back in the take the blocks here. He down. Man, he's dead. Level three. Unfortunately, both her level one and her level three uh, just don't do a lot of damage. So. Yeah, how's that medium just beats out everything? Okay. Hey, don't touch me! Oh, dance, baby! The invincible great Saiyan is here! That was really nice! Yo, Shane, give me one second, guys. That's enough. Right here. 
I am back. Apologies on that. That was a man throw. Very nice. Nice. That was so good. What a reaction. Take that. Let's recover a little bit of that through health. Yeah, no, I, my bad. I had to go hand sign real quick. That's what happens when you have to do everything, you know what I'm saying? Okay, get the knockdown here. Block the wall of blue car. My goodness, this man just be blocking. Good defense. Never getting hit there. The thing is, is, is he literally uh, avoided most of that spark. So that's really good. And the thing is, is that she can't avoid that. Yo, Wes, it's all good, man. It'll easily get updated. I got it after the tournament. Block. Oh, she's gonna win. He had a vanish there. And he's dead. He's the level one into the level one. Don't be able to block this. The thing is, he does have spark, and he has mad meter. Blocks. My man sneaked in that dragon rush. That was slick. Yo, Midnight, thank you for the stuff. The thing is, is because he has a seventh frame, he's scared to press a button, but then he finally got hit with a down medium that is like 28. How fast is that down medium, by the way, guys? Holy shit, Chris Williams is going in. Anybody knows how fast that down medium is with hits? Twenty-seven? Jeez, that shit is slow. Okay, nice stand light. So the thing is, is that he has so much meter, and UI Goku has a little bit of help, right? So the next hit kills UI Goku, but he has to kill the hit first, and then obviously he has to get the hit. I'm the UI go. Can he make it happen though? It is definitely possible, especially when he just puts the feet. Got the kill, no meter required. This could definitely be in the way of uh, we're about right, to see and find out. Over. Right here. Right here. Wow! That absolutely sucks. <laughs> Nice to break. The air to air from Chris will have to be so good. Okay. Can't kill, but he's gonna get this knockdown. And it's plus. Eh, the overhead. 2 1. Damn, Goku, you just gotta keep one up in everyone, huh? Well, don't get too comfy at the top. I'm coming for 
Why do people jump to block UI? They're not block. They're not jumping to block UI's flip double fist. They're jumping to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> That's the thing. They're not jumping because at the end of the day, the flip, they could do the command throw. So they rather just jump and reset the situation than to get command throw. They also do that because he can also flip and hit you with the um with the beam. So yeah, in a sense, they rather just jump. Okay, nice. Okay, he's gonna get this command throw. Very nice. Man, what are you doing? Okay. Man throw once again. Ooh, very nice. Level three. He wants to get the kill on the next hit, or he wants to spark. Whichever way he's gonna get it, how however he wants it, and he got it. Oof! The weight and bait. My goodness. He said, this is the stance. I continue to improve. Man. See, like, right there in that scenario, he could definitely go this for the hand throw. throw. The kiss hand throw. throw. Right Come here. Jeez. Okay, nice combo. I'm gonna give it a kill here. Yo, kid art. I love that emo, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. I actually still like this in the favor of uh, Lucar. He has meter, he has spark, he has the same health. So. Does hit command grab get more bounce? No. We're gonna get the reset. Yo, does he have full invincibility when he does that stream? Or can you grab him? I actually don't know like the, the, the full properties of that uh that right there, that move. You can grab him, okay. Let's go. All right, the next hit kills. Nice. Got the hit. Definitely in the favor of Lucar here. That's the reason why they jump. They don't want to get command throw there. And it's kind of it's kind of hard to figure out what he's gonna do. He has different options. That's why you see how they always jump. It's pretty much like the best option. If you're not if you're not guaranteed on your punish, people just jump. Break. Jeez, nobody pressing a button. Wow, wait, how did that even happen? Why he didn't? I guess because he canceled it too early, right? Man. The problem is if you jump too late, you see what happened there? He got caught on the, the jump frame, so. That was only, he got a happy birthday, mind you. And he's gonna bring in Fidel. And just like that, his work don't even matter. The break. UI definitely did not get nerfed hard. He got nerfed for the struggle shit.
that's pretty much it. He got nerfed for the both. Like the, the scrubby shit, that's what he got nerfed on. Wow! Wow! Nice. All right, it's gonna be 2-2 two, two or the reset of the grand final. Nah, he, he did get nerfed though. He definitely did get nerfed. Like before, he was able to catch the back dashes with that stupid ass uh, sparking DP, right? Now you don't. So you can actually back dash away from that, you know what I'm saying? I can't give it now. Everyone's All right, the score is 2-2. Two, two. Are we going to have a crazy-ass long grand finals, or will it end here? We're about to find out. Even when he does it in the air, they didn't fix that. He still has fucking recovery. That's mad fast. Okay, nice. The side switch to put him in the corner. That's so smart. What? what? My goodness, this damn light. Okay. Nice, the dragon rush. He needs to let her recover that health. And indeed he will. A level three. Ooh, he was looking for the bait, which he got, but... Nice, the dragon rushes are working out for him. Okay. That is plus. All right, we ready to break. Wait, what happened there? All right, he wanted to hit. Where are you going? Nice. And right now, Lucas just doing some great damage here. Oh my goodness, the death move is so OD. Got the knockdown. Okay, and then a spark. He needed that breathing room. Gonna spark right back. That was so good. Oh, yeah, happy birthday. Nice. Oh, we got hit. And right now it is definitely in Lucar, uh, Chris Zero's favor. Oh! Yep. A level three will kill here. Wow, that level three sucks. But that that right there is what she gets. Jeez, her level one and level three just no damage. I like that. Back off. Yep. Nice. Oh, what a bad drop. I like that. Another three here. All right, the next hit will kill. He messed that up, though. Hey, don't touch me. Get filthy hands off me, bitch. Oh 
my goodness. Yo, Steve, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. Nice block. Oh, my God. He man locked in. Jeez, the blocks. The wall of Lucar. Oh, he took risk. He took a risk. And it did not pay off, but... All right, let's see what happens here. Eh. Yo, mind you, this actually might go the distance, guys. Eh. Oh, that was so smart. The level three. Indeed. Have him in the corner here. But let me tell you something right now. Chris Zero don't give a fuck, right? He's gonna be like, I'm gonna wake up with some bullshit. Oh, no bullshit. Ah, throw your wings. Anybody's game here. Blue car gets hit by medium starter, definitely dead. Light starter might even be it. He got lucky like four times then, huh? Nice block. Nice. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh. We're blocking everything. Get off of me. Plus again. Block. Get the fuck off me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and he's gonna take it! Lucar, you motherfucking champion! Yo, the blocks. The fucking blocks. Wow. Wow. Sorry, but I cannot allow What a grand fucking finals. What a grand final, dude. He actually blocked all of that. Holy shit. That grand final was OD. That grand final was fucking OD. And my goodness, he really just blocked all of that. That's insane. Yo, Mr. Antichristo, honky guy, and anybody else that has a Twitch Prime, if you guys haven't used those Twitch Primes, please use it on this channel. If you guys uh, are able to sub to the channel, use the tier one, tier two, tier three, or gift your fellow viewers as well. What an amazing tournament we had tonight. This shit was fucking crazy. Yo, Daniel, no problem. Good shit tonight, Daniel. That was super impressive. If you got a chance, Daniel, hit me up with your information. So that way I can send the money off to you. Once again, listen, guys, make sure to add me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube. Hit the bell icon so you guys can receive all of the notifications. I seriously appreciate everybody being here. It means a hell of a lot. Um... Tomorrow I might actually have some offline Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, it's more of a chance that I will than I won't. And also I do want to play uh, online against some of you guys as well before I play offline. But do remember that I do also play Overwatch. I also play Street Fighter V and I will be playing Guilty Gear when it does come out. Alright. And then of course we have the Birthday Bash Invitational. Which is going to have $2,100 in the pot. 3 out of 5 sets for the entire tournament with some free food in the mix it's gonna happen april 3rd which is next saturday and as you guys can see these are some of the players that i want in the mix there's a few more not trying to invite a crazy amount but yeah pretty much you guys can't see the players that are there and then of course my man tree folio 
is hosting the 100 Cloud Escapes for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on the PS4 tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you guys can watch it at twitch.tv slash Treefolio. And then also follow him at uh, Treefolio underscore on Twitter Let's as hit well. the islands. Cheers. Oh, my man said, before we go, before we go, yo, I got you. Thank you so much, man. I would love for Luke Carter to come to the birthday bash, but I feel like it's just too, um, it's too last minute. It's definitely too last minute. Will Lucard come? That that will be up to him. You guys want to bless me with some last minute donations? It'll be greatly appreciated. My goodness, I did this by myself with the commentary, advertisement, and stuff like that. Also, shout out to Lab for tonight for definitely running the. I'm with that. Let's get that island. Cheers hey, and much love. Hey. The event will be at my place. Yes. Thank you so much, Two Fly. Appreciate that, man. Does anybody want to put more of the island? Let me know, man. Let me know if people want to put more of the island. My goodness. You guys are freaking amazing. Once again, what a tournament, man. So many great matches. Damn. So many good matches. It's actually crazy. I would love, I would love for Lucar to be part of the um, the birthday bash. Real talk. Yo, Daniel, you should, you should, you did amazing tonight, man. Build up that fucking resume, brother. Build it up. I don't see why not, man. We actually had a grand finals with concentrated commentary. Let's go. That we did. <laughs> that we fucking did. Indeed. Yo, once again, salute to everybody. Appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate the support. It means a hell of a lot. That was not okay, but right? I got hit. shit. Yo, Dylan, thank you for the gift of sub. Have a good night. Appreciate you, my man. My goodness. Yeah, we've been here for 10 hours, guys. Holy fuck. Held it down. But you know, brother man like me, I'm old. I'm, I'm an old man. I got my cane ready. I got my pampers. And I'm ready to go to sleep. I don't know what Nitro used. I don't know what team he used. Probably use team that he got but I don't think he's been playing the game like that to be honest with y'all I actually don't think he's been playing the game then you said we are doing it do you do PC Dragon Ball Fighters every Wednesday every Wednesday honky every Wednesday honky we do Dragon Ball Fighters on PC every Saturday we do Dragon Ball Fighters on PS4 he said, yo, chill, bum, I'm 33. Well, I'm about to be 36, you know what I'm saying? Yes, 10-hour stream. We are out here, man. We are actually out here. I don't, uh, who's host? who's streaming? Is Lucar streaming? You be 35 in May? Let's go. Oh, we got the 30, the dirty gentleman. My goodness. Check Twitter right quick. Damn, really? My man did this OD fast. Holy shit. We just finished the tournament and he already has this. Oh, 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 oh shit. Wow, you work fast, dude. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. That's so sick. Trap Lord Huey. Make sure to give this man a follow if possible, guys. Because this work right here that he just did is fucking crazy. This is Ashley. What's up? Thank you so much, man. Yeah, these guys don't have Twitters, unfortunately. So, And he got the Twitter. Uh, oh, you are OD, dude. 
You're so fucking OD. Thank you so much, Trap Lord Huey. My goodness. Yo, Jukebox Joint, if you haven't used that Switch Prime. Uh, Primo Nada, if you haven't used that Switch Prime, please use it on the channel. Once again, make sure to hit that follow button if you guys are new to the stream. Uh, I'm going to pass this over to Lucar. My ass is fucking tired. Uh, once again, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, it's about that time, though. Fucking 10 hours. Yes, Daniel, post your stream right now. Matter of fact, I'll wait till Daniel posts his, his stream before we sign off. There you go right there, my man Daniel. It is definitely streaming. Uh, if you guys can, please go check him out. I mean, he got third place. He did his thing tonight. It was fucking amazing. That was really good shit, Daniel. Real talk, man. Uh, right now, it's time to go to sleep because I've been here for 10 hours and I am fucking tired. 10 hours exact right now. And I've been up longer than that. I've been up for like four or five hours before that. So, it's about that time. No payout. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Somebody else can pay you out. Not me, though. I'm going to sleep. Anyway, guys, have a good night. And go to Luke Carr's stream. Show him some love. Go to Daniel's stream. And anybody else that's streaming that was here tonight, show them some love. Peace out, everybody.